what is up guys he just rick here and as i mentioned on the stream yesterday that i was hosting yesterday if you missed it i'm gonna be doing a game you guys have never seen before a game called valdis story that is my practice file uh basically martin and i what am i am i not supposed to load this okay okay i understand now we're gonna go into normal we're gonna pick this asshole who is the warrior class there is also another monk class this is just the demo of the game and basically this is just a game on steam that martin told me about and was like hey man it's kind of like uh side scrolling i was like uh i saw some videos of it looked a kind of slow as far as the gameplay videos that i saw but then when i actually downloaded it because there was a free demo of it um actually it played very well so i'm actually um kind of excited about uh playing this now this is just the demo and I'm just gonna go through probably till the end here and I'm not gonna really follow the story or anything like that but basically guys after my first playthrough of the game I've come to find out that this game is basically a PC version of Castlevania with uh, more actiony type uh, control scheme so it says you hold the left trigger which um, in my case that is what it's actually binded to on the uh, the joypad that I'm using and my suggestion is if you're gonna play this game use a joypad man let me tell you and it seems like I can't get in there um, so yeah this game is like Castlevania or I should say Metroidvania not the traditional Castlevanias but the ones with the whole you know this except I gotta say that the combat is fluid you got these animations that are like seamless here here's my weak attack I got a strong attack here you can also link them together into combos. Uh, you can do some Shoryukens. Did you see that? Look at that. Shoryuken. Okay. But, uh, I mean, the combat here is un unbelievably fluid, I gotta say. And uh, your first time playing through this, you may uh, get bodied a little bit. I have a little bit of practice considering I've already played it um, the first time through. But I gotta say, this warrior class is like fun and we already hit level two so it does have some rpg elements right here is going to be a life potion these basically act as your um lives i guess once you die once you hit the zero hp you will actually be given uh, or use up that life potion so uh it basically acts as a life and trust me you're actually going to need that coming up here soon because um this game jumps jumps the gun really easier at this first point right here to uh mind-boggling hard when we get to some boss fights and I can't believe I just blocked that so efficiently all right right there you just saw him drop an item I think that's some kind of cloth let me see once I pick it up I got some iron that's a rough cloth um I should okay here we're gonna ch we're gonna do some magic on this guy if you hold the magic button and you press a direction um, you can bind yourself to I think three magic skills let me see no well Okay, I'm trying to explain a lot here. So you do get skill points at one skill point per level. I'm going to go ahead and increase my HP real quick. If you go to the spells tab, uh, you guys see that we have um, four skills right here. Or excuse me, is this... Heal, black rain that drains. Okay, but yeah, we do have four skills right here. If you press the skill key, which whatever you bind it to, and then a direction, it does a different kind of skill. So... Um, this one, for instance, if I press the magic button and down, um, I'll increase my damage. Now, I can change the spell to a different element, and that'll basically count as a new different spell. So, um, I guess that's something that you can look into. Uh, personally, I like, I just like the slashing combat, so I'm not a big fan of magic. I gotta say, the slashing combat's pretty cool. As expected, you can't really block the heavy attacks. Oh, shit, let's get out of that. And we got him, guys. I took a lot of damage from that fight. Not really sure, aside from, um, you know, the health potions, um, I think the spirits are the only thing, like, from heavy enemies like that, are, are the only things that actually can heal your HP aside from the life potions, so, don't know how that really works, I haven't really looked into the shop very much, but, um, you know, in usual Castlevania games, you have, like, a, like, a food item or something like that. And here you can see, very comparable to Castlevania, where you have doors you can't open yet until you, you know get some kind of thing to unlock it or some kind of skill probably some good items in there that are in plain sight hiding in plain sight here but yeah like I said we have blocks we have fluid combat and then we also have magic as well so I mean I it's it's all there it's I really love how I'm blocking things like that 
Um, I was gonna mention, those rough items I'm picking, the iron, the rough cloth, they basically act as your currency in this game, so, um... You'll see when we get to the actual... Oh shit, I tried to block it, that didn't happen. So here I just raised my attack up, and hopefully I'll be doing more damage and killing this guy. You did see him actually get stunned right there. Man, I am loving this combat, man. I love how fluid it is. Later on, you'll be getting uh, different skills as well, or different kind of... Man, look at another perfectly clean block. I love it. I am really loving this. And again, I think I'll give you guys a link to the free demo that they're just handing out to us. Because, uh, I, I, like I said, it's free, and I think it's well worth to actually trying out. Um, this is just kind of like a one-player game, so it's nothing too serious, I guess. Shit. Well, this is a bad place to fight this guy. I don't got any room to hide. Well, we do got a chest for my troubles, and seriously, come on, man. So right here, uh, well, you'll see that we'll be getting the next kind of uh, feature of the game, you could say. And this looks like a boss door, but... Um, next feature, which is basically like your uh, dashing skill, you could say. So basically, if you jump in the air and you press downwards, you kind of can cancel it like that. And that's the purple bar at the top left up there, the purple circle. Um, you'll need that to open some switches. It is also pretty much your only dodging maneuver in the game. Um, because I think... I'm not sure if it has any iframe on it or not, but... Ooh, this guy's actually funny. But it is used to dodge some attacks, so... It's, this will become especially apparent in boss fights, so... Um, it's kind of like a dashing, abusive kind of thing. You really want to learn how to use that. Similar to how you would use it in uh, Castlevania. This is literally the same thing. A moment to reprieve from all the Castlevania games. So, um, <laughs> let's go to the statue. I do also want to look at some of the items I'm actually picking up. I, you do get sk uh, status points while you level up. And you can see what kind of stats are going up depending on which I put it in. This one gives me a ton of HP. Luck gives to that much HP? Wow, what? Um... Luck seems like the way to go. Look at look at how much like spread I get with luck, and barely anything with strength. Are you kidding me? Of course I'm gonna go with luck. All right. Um, we do also have items. What is this? Commonly, if you actually want to wear equipment, that's under the status window, which I don't think I have anything new here. Years of body have so I can use my fist. Do not plan on doing that. Uh, didn't get any new. So yeah, you do see we have like standard equipment, and uh, yeah, I mean this this is as basic as I can I can tell you guys. It is basically Castlevania, and I'm really happy about that. Oh shit! Why do I keep trying to block this guy? Like I can't. And we did get a level right there, and we are just breezing through this. Now I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm probably gonna die on this fight because it is hard. And this is what I mentioned about using those life potions, because the bosses in this game are really what make this game shine. It is actually... It's its so difficult that it's fun. It doesn't feel, like, unfair. Okay, I take that back. There are some things that are, like, super unfair. But um, once you learn the patterns, it actually isn't that bad, <laughs> to be honest. You'll do a little bit of damage. Um... Um, I'm making this look a lot easier than it actually is because trust me, I've died seriously three times against this guy the first time I fought him. So um, he shoots these little fireballs; they do homing. So you actually got to knock him down, and then you can actually fight him legit. Does a three-hit attack, you can punish him afterwards. He actually does block as well, and then back to his old uh, self right there. Does also spawn enemies too, so that's something to look out for. You can see on the top left, if you guys watch my C9 gameplay, if you guys are here for my actual channel, you guys will know my C9 as uh, Ultimate Fury, or basically my Fury Bar is at the top left. Once it hits its maximum, which occurs mostly when I'm hit with uh, various attacks, it'll start uh, filling up. Or what I think when I'm hitting attacks as well. And he's back to his normal spot right there. That's unblockable, guys, so you gotta 
this is the safest place to stand while he's doing that shit. Take care of the enemies, and then, uh, then you can go kick his ass. Actually, I'm gonna go right now. And there's my focus bar. If you use the attack button and the magic button at the same time, you go into basically fury mode, and your damage is increased by a ton. And there we go. We got a ranking for that. We did actually pretty good. And I got an item that just increased my damage or something. I don't, I, I don't remember that happening. But uh, kick that boss's ass. We got to run here. I don't really want to look into the story mode very much because um, I don't want to kind of spoil anything. So if you guys, if you guys really are interested, you guys can pause the video or something. But um, from what I see here, very Castlevania-esque. You have a little bit of dialogue and then just you know. Um, some random bullshit that is incoherent like jumping on chandeliers to get to other d parts of the dungeon but we actually do have a partner for this section right here so she does do a little bit of attacking and she's basically going to take us to the town which is going to act as our hub I don't know how for how long but you'll see it has the basic functions of being a town obviously so my guess is she's some kind of rebel or something if, if I had to guess as to what the story is She's kind of some kind of rebel. I'm some kind of bandit or some fucking some wandering guy who's just like gonna save everybody. I don't know. Some fucking Terminator esque plot line here. But we are in the town right now. There's the guard guy. This is standard for everything, man. Come on. Okay, yeah. Rebel Alliance, whatever. We're the resistance. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. That's probably not the story at all. But here we go. We got the shop. This is what I was mentioning about the. Uh, where you can basically trade in some items. So those demon rubies, the polished stones, they basically act as your currency. There's no real money in the game, so what you gotta do is just trade. So if I want a health potion, I need to pick up those items. Which, I don't know if that makes it a good or... I mean, I, it just seems like needlessly uh, tedious, if you ask me, because my guess is only certain enemies drop these certain items. Basically crafting, farming, but... Um, a lot of people to talk to, so if you're into the lore of the one or the game, you know, I personally would be if I'm actually playing. So, but uh, since this is just a, uh, just I just want to show you guys the game real quick. We're gonna bypass everything, but I'm just saying there's a lot of stuff to be had here, and uh, you know, for a demo, I'm surprised that they uh, have this much already. I don't know how much of the game they're already done with. On Steam, this game is actually available for early access. I think it's called for 15 bucks, which my guess is that automatically implies that when the game is updated, you will be getting all those updates. Although the demo that we have here has us going only through the first couple areas. So we just beat that first area. We got one more area left for the demo, guys. So if you guys are tired of my voice or something already, I apologize. But we just picked up a wall hook which is basically a wall jump skill. This way leads to the mausoleum. Can I leave? Only after I pick up these spare parts, apparently. And um, basically what the wall jump is, is when you cling onto or jump near a wall, if you press the jump button again, he will just do a wall jump, straight up Mario-esque on him. And truth be told, that is something that actually isn't in a lot of uh, Castlevania games. And quote me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, most Castlevania games like doing the double jump instead, and that is probably something that I can get to if I was skilled enough. Yeah, but most Castlevania games don't actually have a wall jump, and I could be totally wrong. I'm just not considering, or maybe not remembering right. But, uh, yeah. Pretty standard first uh, level item. Look at these enemies. An intruder! Goddess of light! Okay, no, no, I'm not doing that. But cool little enemy design. Look at their little angels. Come on. Little night angels. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. They got these like little, like, monk dudes. And you can see the, how fluid their animation is. He He's doing a little dash thing that's actually going past me. So I don't have to worry about it. But, uh... Ooh. Didn't look... As you guys can see, I was able to get like three, four slashes in midair, so there is going to be some air combat. So one thing that um, I really want to mention before <laughs> this time is up is... Uh, one thing that a lot of people like about games like this is... Only if... Or one thing that they're concerned about, excuse me, is if there is fluid controls. 
There's one thing that really you can't explain very well is, okay, how does it control? And because this is just a free demo, I can only suggest that you actually try it yourself. Are you kidding me? But um, from what I'm saying right here, it's definitely not Super Meat Boy, but it's damn good, I gotta say. It, it, it obviously has that landing delay and some of the jumps, especially um, when you're trying to reach a ledge and stuff. Like right there, I feel like I should have made it to the top of that ledge, but... You know, stuff like that. There is also the landing delay, but that's to be expected. I mean, they're, they're, it's being a little bit more realistic with that, so... Um, my guess is the dashing thing is probably going to be annoying for some people. Um, just trying to get a hold of it, because it's kind of like... Um, it kind of works like the dash in Mega Man Zero games, if you guys have played those, or Mega Man X games, I guess. Uh, so it takes a little bit of command usage to get it. I don't know if you can bind another skill to to be able to dash like that. So, and you can see this person is actually blocking my attacks here, which just goes to show how the combat. Is. I'm actually getting juggled by this guy. Are you kidding me? All right. You can see we're getting a ton of different items here. So I gotta say, this game is not as um, open world, it seems, as a Castlevania game. Usually Castlevania games will have you have a main hub area, and then, you know, you kind of redo a lot of the same areas while you unlock doors. This one seems more linear in that you're going to different areas. Odds are I'm not going to be un or be coming back here anytime soon uh, to really do anything other than trying to get loot that I miss, but... These are not areas that are very memorable or that I'm going to be going back to. So, that's the one thing that is like really charming about uh, Castlevania games. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing. This guy is invincible. I, I, I don't know how to beat this guy. He blocks everything. You can't jump over him. Okay, you can't jump over him, but uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do about that guy, so... Um... I say screw him. We're going to go to the save. I think you could probably attack him from behind once I got behind him, but it is kind of difficult to get behind him. You saw I had to cheese him a little bit. And I'm not sure really on how the, where I'm supposed to go here. I did not go this way on my practice run. Okay, we did just do a show you can over him. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try to kill that guy because I don't really know if it's worth it. He might drop some awesome items, but... From what I see, he is blocking all my shit. You guys let me know in the comments if you guys have tried the game out. How do I kill that fucking guy? And here you go. This would not be a game without... A platforming game without hazards. We got a big laser here. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> that... I'm silenced here, so that... I think I'm silenced. I cannot use magic when you're silenced. That is, like, pretty much standard issue here. Killing him. Killing him. Okay. Doing pretty good here. Got that night asshole again. I'm going to bypass him. And I can only imagine, since this game is, like, plays so fluidly, I want to see some, like, speed runs of this, man. I mean, I really like the fluidness of it. I'm going to leave those guys fucking. Get up. And, you know, this game got greenlit on Steam, actually. Oh, shit. Look at the combat I'm fighting with this guy. Block this shit, man. Man, I'm having some serious fights with these guys, man. He just, Did he just fucking Liu Kang me? Or Kung Lao me? Okay, we got him. Got him. They're nice enough to give us some damn health after that. And I do have a level up here, so we'll, we'll look at the level up screen one more time. Just gonna dump. Shut up. Why is luck such a good stat? Okay, this is definitely not. And, uh. Go with the strength as is expected of games like this, huh? So. Um, what are we gonna do? Increase resistance. These are the magic skill tree. These are the defense skill tree, obviously. And then let's increase our damage. Yeah, let's just increase our base damage. So guys, we're already on the second portion of, of or second boss of this game. 
And again, I'm gonna give the preface of saying I'm probably gonna die. This this shit is not easy, so. I think this boss is maybe a little bit harder than the first one. And you guys can see I'm abusing the dashing system, but shit, I don't know how to dodge that. I do not know how to dodge the laser. After he goes down though, this is this is time to slam him right here. I can pretty much take out half his health, so. Ooh, I dodged a laser for once. And he just did a super dive bomb right there. You just wasted my entire freaking attack right there. So here's gonna be a, a, a portion of me dying here, so. You guys get to see the life potion. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I died? I died? And he was about to die. That's bullshit. Oh, dude, 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 die. So, didn't do too well in that boss fight, but... Um, if I could dodge the laser a little bit better, I would have aced that, but... Huh. There's another boss fight right there, so guys, I've got to say, the combat is very fast, very, you know... I can't really say that it was uh, unforgiving. I mean, it was pretty good. And we're getting another skill, which is basically a mana keystone. If you hold the mana or button, you'll basically unlock this key, which will... Or, It'll, it'll act as a switch temporarily for whatever the time or duration is. So right here is like a big uh, door, I think, down here, which I can't get through. Uh, I have to unlock it with the key. And that is going to be the last feature of this uh, of this uh, demo, guys. So I think the demo is going to cut out right there at the door. So I hope I was able to give this game justice. Demo ends here. And... Um, it really helped. I, I did a lot better than I did on my first playthrough, and Martin can testify to that because we were both kind of raging on how badly we were playing. But I got to say, combat is fun. I haven't tried out the other character. The warrior seems like a lot of fun. And this game in general, I think it's going to be worth the money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely look into this one, guys. So, again, on Steam, I'm going to give you guys the link to the demo as well as the link to the Steam page. And anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I know this isn't normal to my normal gameplay, but... I will catch you guys later.